I got to get this bus project finished ASAP. Cross thread is still a thread. Now I gotta tram this, not to that mountain, but to that mountain. And that right there doesn't look too promising. I got the dirt work done. I didn't realize that I needed to expand it two feet wider. So that wasn't too bad. I went and expanded it. I could have got by with the way it was, but I wouldn't have been able to get the covers or the pit liner on both sides of the bus. So what I've done is that slopes away and then you have, you can't tell it on the video, but then that goes down a couple feet and then comes back out because where there's no front axle on the bus, I wanna lay the front of the bus up here, put the tires down right here and still have room for the water to run out if water gets in it. Once this gets finished, uh, there shouldn't be 
any water uh, shedding in here. There's not a water, a lot of water that comes down here anyways because of the foliage back up on the top of the mountain. So I'm gonna cut the front of the bus off, the frame, and try to get it pulled back up in here. As you saw, I got the door covered. It's a pretty janky job, but it's gonna hold. There's gonna be tons of dirt, literally probably pressing up against it. And then I got most of the frame cut off. I can't get through the bottom. So I'm gonna take the excavator and just wiggle it, tear it off. Then I'm gonna start turning it around to get it back up in the hole. So the plan, I got a winch on the back of my truck. I'm going up to where he's at, run it through a snatch block, then down to the front. And then I'm going to uh, lock the winch in and just drive 
while we push back from the excavator. Cut the valve stems on the tires to bring it down another six inches. My calculations were a bit off on the depth, so I'm gonna have to, uh, it needed to come in another four feet. But where I dug out for the tires, it needed to come up a little bit more. So we got about four feet up here in front. I can fill that in. I'm gonna take this dirt, push it over, hump it up on there and then start piling dirt on top. So it ain't gonna be completely subterranean, but it'll be encapsulated in dirt. That'll do it for this episode. As always, thanks for watching.